Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and the hot mess that is my life at the moment. We did, somehow, actually sell a couple things. eBay, two items, which I am going to grab right now. And it's funny, somebody was like, I'm really impressed at uh, how you remember where all your stuff is. That's what sold. So am I. <laughs> Why I knew that was there, I, I have no idea. Why I knew it was under this thing, I have no idea. I don't know. But this is one of the things we sold, so we're going to grab this. I believe the other thing is in here somewhere. Oh, it is. I see it. I just have to unbury it. You guys ready for this? That one. Finally freaking sold it. If you watched our What's Not Selling video, second time I've taken that offline, re-photographed it, put it back up on eBay and Etsy, finally got an offer of $30 and sold it. So I guess we'll just start with this one because I was already talking about it. This piece I bought at an auction a long time ago. I thought it was amazing. And I did look up comps before I even bid on it because I'm pretty good about not buying stuff that I don't know what it is or how much it sells for, etc. It's an inkwell. It has the porcelain insert, which I guess are pretty rare for this style. They usually get lost or broken because they do come out. This one has no damage. It is in really good condition, other than some, you know, tarnish. I thought it was a good buy at the time. If I remember correctly, I think I spent like 20 bucks on it. It must have been right after one of our big yard sales and I had money to blow because normally I would not spend $20 on anything to flip because of this actual scenario. I've had this thing listed for probably three years without any interest. It's been taken offline and relisted twice Second time, finally got a $30 offer. So I have lost money on this piece, but I am glad to get rid of it. And honestly, the money right now is needed. <laughs> so we're going to ship that out today. And then second is this little, it's like a little dip pot, little crock pot, dip pot thing, electric warmer ordeal. It's a little dusty. I should probably wipe that off before I ship it, huh? <laughs> but uh, we don't have any money into this. We garbage picked it, again, quite a while ago. Probably at least a year, year and a half. I'd say a year. I do believe it was spring when we picked it up. And it didn't sell for very much. $6 plus the cost of shipping. So both pieces we really probably lost money on in the long run. But right now the money is needed. So I'm glad to have it in my PayPal because I don't know how in the heck. I'm even going to pay my eBay bill at the end of the month. I'm a little freaked out about it, to be completely honest. It's probably going to be like a four to $500 bill. There's currently like 40 bucks in our PayPal. So that's scaring me a little bit. <laughs> Sales dropping in general is scaring me a little bit. But I do, I do have every intention to keep listing today. Keegan does have a dentist appointment still. Even through this, he has a dentist appointment. So while we're out, I will drop these two things off at the post office and uh, we'll get some work done today. No worries. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really feeling super motivated at this point. I'm already two cups of coffee in. I am going to list this because it's vintage. I can list it on eBay. I can list it on Etsy and I can list it on Mercari, which is going to keep my algorithms going. I only list clothing on Mercari, so... This one piece will fit all three categories. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm like pumping myself up like this is getting done. Come on, Chrissy. We're doing this. We are doing this. I set up pick up again on this bird bath. The first lady. Oh, Facebook marketplace is even worse when there's a pandemic going on. 
First Lady, an hour before she was supposed to get here for this piece, messages me and says that she just looked at the address and lives over an hour away, so she's going to have to pass. So I went to the next person in line who already ordered one off Wayfair. So I went to the next person in line who said, yes, she still wants it, and then never responded back after like eight hours. So this morning I gave up and relisted it, and another person said they're going to come get it today. So we shall see if that works out. I really should concentrate on some of this outside stuff. These have been sitting here for almost a year, I think. I've got a pair of them tagged up in the antique booth, but I should probably get a couple of these listed on Facebook Marketplace, the ones that are, you know, matching pairs. I don't know, like 15 bucks a pair. You can literally see I haven't done anything with these. I think I'm gonna burn this chair as well. It's been sitting out here all winter. You can see that it pretty much rotted through. It's no good. So this one's probably going to go to the fire pit today. This one I think is still okay. I looked at it the other day and it looks pretty solid. So I might throw this one up on Facebook Marketplace for like, I don't know, 15 bucks. It's not in great shape. But it'll last another season, I think. I really... I really need to just go through stuff, is what I'm saying. Look, we sold one more thing for not a whole lot of money. A $5 realistic microphone. We got this out of one of the abandoned houses. Actually, it was the squatter house, if I do remember correctly. So we have no money into it. It's not really worth a ton of money. Like I said, we sold it for five bucks. But considering how things are right now in the world and the uncertainty, we are going to get this shipped out as well even though we already went to the post office the town that we're going into for keegan's dentist appointment the post office there's right across the street so while keegan's getting his tooth sealed we're gonna drop this off across the street that's the plan at least two things so we had to go take the kid to the dentist and we garbage picked some stuff on the way back i didn't have the video but i always keep these things they come in handy sometimes so i grabbed that this little Easter decoration, one of the feet came off, but I feel like that is hopefully going to be a pretty easy fix. I think Rich can fix the foot. Otherwise, that's so cute. A little Easter bunny butt. We have metal rooster. Thought was cool. And then this piece that I don't believe is damaged in any way. I didn't see any chips or cracks or anything. Temptations. I don't know, it's a cool piece. I don't sell trees very often, they just don't move for me. But for free, I at least saved it from going into the the uh, garbage truck. And check this out. This. This is awesome. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek here before I take it in the house and show Nelly. But check it out. One of you guys, Missy from Junk To Be Loved, who follows this channel and follows Nelly on, he's got his own Facebook page. She found this at the bins and sent it to Nelly. How friggin' awesome is that? Seriously, I keep forgetting to link her channel, but she's amazing and she picks a lot of the same stuff I do. So, definitely check out her channel. It's Junk To Be Loved. She's awesome. So we're gonna go give this to Nelly right now and he's gonna be so unbelievably excited. Oh, before he grabs it. Oh, maybe I can get it before he grabs it. This is disgusting. <laughs> can I see your Sully for just a minute? Can I please see your... Oh, you're such a brat. <laughs> He's gonna make me chase him. All right, can you sit your butt? Can you sit your butt? Nelly, move in. Oh, he's gonna be a pain. This is how gross Sully is. <laughs> He's disgusting. He's missing a hand. He's got a hole in the side of his head. Like he's gross. He needs to be, he needs to be replaced. Horribly, terribly bad. Terribly bad. Yeah, that's for you. Can you sit on your butt? Can you sit? Yeah, that's, that's for you. What is it? What's in there? What is it? <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this one-handed. 
Can you help? Can you help, Maria? Get it. <gasps> what is it, Boo? What is that? Oh my goodness, it's a brand new Sully. What are you, he's so confused. He's like, wait a minute. What is this? That's what's in there. There's no more. I don't think there's anything else in there. Don't get your head stuck, you weirdo. No, you can't have the whole package. What are you doing? Oh, he's right. There is another one in there. Can you get it, Moo? Did you get it? It's a mini Soli. It's a mini Soli, Moo. Hold on, I gotta get it out of the package. Oh my gosh, you are such a spoiled dog. Look at your horde of Solis, Moomians. I call him Moomians because he makes this weird noise that sounds like a cow. He like moos. There's there's a video on his Facebook Facebook page. It's a. Uh, I don't know if I can, I don't know why I always forget to link stuff. I hate saying like, oh, I'm gonna link it down below if you wanna follow him on Facebook, and then I forget. We're gonna try to sneak the old Sully away while he's not paying attention. Ooh, Huss and the girls are trying to get at least 10 things listed today. This will be number four for me, but oh my gosh, it's already 3.30. It's gonna be a tough call. Oh my gosh, it's just downpouring out here, but do you guys see something missing? I must have been in the bathtub, but it looks like the uh, bird bath got picked up just in time for it to be filled up with rain. Oh my gosh, we freaking sold something. Look at this. We sold something. I'm so happy. I'm more happy than I should be, I think. I'm not sure. And I've only made seven. I had to come in out of the rain. It was freezing out there. But this is number seven of our goal of 10 for the day. <sighs> I'm not sure I'm going to make it, but I'm really going to do my best. I already sold one of the things that I have listed out of the seven today, so that's awesome. You guys will see that tomorrow. And on that note, I'm signing off for the day, so we'll see you later. Bye.